the entire history of broken guns in every Call of Duty by T Dog G Smithy. I forgot I was gonna say. Let's get right into it. Brother, you took your time with this video, and we're gonna enjoy it. All right. Thank you, of MW2 to the less memorable pre-patch SMGs that dominated the first few Jeez. weeks of each Black Ops game, there's a reason that every single update comes with an essay's worth of nerfs and buffs. I mean, Call of Duty's over 20 years old after all. Damn. With decades worth of weapons, chances are that some of them are going to naturally reign supreme. Oh, oh my God. Today, we're going to go over the complete history of the most overpowered, meta-defining, and just downright broken guns in every Call of Duty. Hey, quick interruption. If you like Call of Duty and you like podcasts, I started my own called Going Dark. The links are going to be down in the description. Go follow and subscribe. Back to the video. You know what? I'll let you get the shout out. With the godfather of modern COD, Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4. You probably already know the classic M16 was an absolute that was broken. powerhouse. UAV recon standing by. That shit was broken. Our UAV is online. If you were dominating back in the day, that was too bursting. in your hands. And likewise, if you were burst to the head, the day, bruh. that's because this is what you were up against. I mean, the thing killed at one burst at a time, where a lot of us were still trying to figure out how to connect our Xboxes to Xbox Live. Combine this thing with stopping power, and there was just no competing with it. Got like... Zero recoil, high damage, and nowhere to hide. For I don't think there was recoil back, back in the day. With the MP4. Was there? I ain't play this game. I play the zombies though. It's hard to even mention World at War without bringing up the infamous Juggernaut yeah, and MP40 combination that has plagued these lobbies for years. The MP40 was clearly the go-to SMG, but even then, it wasn't the most overpowered when going up against an AR. The difference was, when running Juggernaut, you could take a few more hits before dying, so that would give you enough time during the gunfight to get another few shots out with the MP40's faster fire rate and win a fight you had no business surviving. If this game was before your time, oh, just Google fuck. MP40. That hit fires like Apex. What juggernaut, the fuck? And you'll be slapped with hundreds of forum posts from 15 years ago complaining about the combo. But also, Jeez. others would give in to their intrusive thoughts and suggest one of the worst classes I can even imagine. MP40, Juggernaut, Bouncing Betty, and Marty Dom. Now that's just not right. That's the insane. original Modern Warfare 2 has gone down in history as one of the most broken and unbalanced multiplayer games ever. There were zero recoil ARs, constantly replenishing noob tubes. Nah, the, this is when I first started playing multiplayer. These fucking noob tubes, bro, were not a fucking joke, bro. A completely broken melee system. But, for this list, I want to specifically highlight the Model 1887s. Oh yeah, it's just very annoying. And they keep bringing them back, bro. These things were monsters and wildly unrealistic. At launch, there was also a bug in the game that gave them literally infinite range. They, they, br they keep bringing them back. That you could dual wield and snipe with. It was so bad that this is one of the first times ever that COD Damn, had to OG release a balancing base. update to address the issue. Now they were still pretty OP even after the change, yeah, but in a sea amazing. of overpowered nonsense, at least it felt at home. Now on to Black Ops 1. You might immediately be thinking about the FAMAS, which was pretty much everyone's go-to assault <sighs> rifle. But even worse than that, in my opinion, was the AK-74U. This was got like, I love this gun. I love this, bro. I hope they bring this map back next season, bro. This map is so fucking good, bro. Now, it absolutely shredded on its own. But then, if you added rapid fire to that thing, it just took it to a whole nother level. Try naming even another SMG that would compete with this Titan. Yeah, I like the MW2, BO1 I I never went back and rebalanced things. So if you somehow were able to find a lobby on this old girl today, chances are lobbies are going to be haunted by AK-74U sweats. In Modern Warfare 3, the, the original one, uh -huh. we're going to go with the ACR. Oh my god, dude, this gun was so fucking good, bro. This, this game was honestly fucking amazing. I love this game. I'll play this game every day, bro. Honestly, 
looking back on this game, there wasn't too much blatantly overpowered in terms of weapons, which is nothing short of amazing considering how MW2 it's ended so up. Simple, but the though. ACR was clearly the favorite assault rifle that year. With its lack of recoil and pretty decent damage, so good, the gun bro. was by all accounts a laser. You see an enemy, you click on them, they die. That's all there was to it. Then there's the good old Black Ops 2. You might think something like okay. the MSMC would take the spot. I didn't play this game that much. I play the zombies a lot. And if so, you clearly weren't around all I love much. zombies. Because for the first few weeks, the PDW was just insane. Ah, this is the one that pros use, right? With a default 50 round mag and a pretty fast reload, that meant you didn't have to waste your time with magazine attachments at all and could slap rapid fire on Before. that bad boy just to melt people. It was all fun and games until Vaughn went in and rebalanced the slew of weapons just in time for the Christmas noobs to flood the servers and the PDW was thrown more into the middle of the pack with lower damage and higher recoil to compensate. Cod Ghost had a similar story with the MSBS. I played this one. This one's fucking amazing. I love this game. I know I got a lot of hate, but this game was fucking amazing. Then when they first bought the slide. On launch, the MSBS would kill in sometimes as little as two shots. That would mean you yeah, could kill in crazy. one burst, even if you miss with one of its three bullets. Now, to be fair, Ghost already had one of the fastest time to kills of any COD to this day. But still, this thing just wrecked havoc. It didn't last long, though. With Drifter and other COD YouTubers of the time making videos explaining how broken it truly was, this resulted in an update to rein it in. And now we're getting into the Jetpack CODs. Yeah. The <laughs> Warfare I, miss this I miss these games so much, bro. This one I was a fucking team, bro. I'm, bro, they have to bring a game back with a band's movement like this, bro. It's either if Titan, Titan Fold 2, or her sticks, Titan, they have, they have to bring Titan Fold 2, bro. Or 3. Right, 3, yeah. Titan Fold 3. And then, and then Call of Duty, if they drop a Titan Fold 3, and it's a fucking banger, Call of Duty will give us another. Block up street type booming game. Bro. Most Please. OP weapon was the Bow 27's Obsidian Steve. That shit was fucking godlike, bro. I miss it. Look at how it sounds, bro. As the first game so featured hard. weapon blueprints, AW definitely had some balancing issues to work out and accidentally made some wildly broken ones, including the ASM-1 Speakeasy oh my God, and the marginally so more good. OP Bow 27 Obsidian Steed. Buff the gun's damage immensely with very few drawbacks, it was so like good. the rate of fire slowing down a hair, but only for the first four bullets. And conversely, the Speakeasy lowered its weapon's damage, but increased the rate of fire dramatically. Two sides of the same OP coin. What's extra bad That's about these good, is not bro. everyone had access to it because it was only available in supply drops so the only ones dominating lobbies were they gotta bring this back. enough to roll it oh. oh black ops 3 had an absolutely this is by far my favorite game of all time bro bo3 this is so fucking good bro. Off the rip with the vesper look at that shit oh yas uav ready for tasking it had it all High rate of fire and solid mobility, letting you get the so jump good. on enemies before they even realize you came around the corner, and next to no recoil. So even though its damage would fall off at range, just the sheer number of bullets you were quickly able to pelt your enemies with meant it could compete with ARs and sometimes even snipers. It completely destroyed lobbies before it had its recoil increased, and honestly it turned into a bit of a pea shooter. Let's give a quick honorable mention though to the Brecci, which unlike the Vesper, wasn't hit with a sweeping nerf and still dominates in the game right now. And now for Infinite Warfare with the O. Bro, that BO3 was so amazing, bro. Infinite Warfare was okay. The oh, Osa? I remember the Osa. This shit was broken. And this was by far one of the most broken guns in the game. They had to ban now, this shit everywhere. Many more ways of saying it. 
The gun was the fastest killing AR in the game, Bro, and it didn't have too many drawbacks, if any. Nothing. The OSA was one of a handful of classic oh, weapons ass. brought from COD's past, with it based off the Ghost ARX, and seemingly it borrowed that game's insane TTK, with it dealing a bit too much damage for its already high fire rate. The OSA could be I didn't like this game at all. Every lobby. If it was okay. Proof, it was even banned from competitive that year it simply was. because no I one remember. wanted to use anything else. Accompanying IW that year was Modern Warfare Remaster. I played this game the fuck out of that game. We all played this game instead, right? Now Raven Software, I played the fuck out this game for this game's development, actually added a ton of new weapons to the sandbox throughout the year. But still, the trophy M16 for most was broken gun in the like, remaster on game battles. Go oh my god. M16. I just had a game battles website, bro. Somehow got better in the Bring remaster back. because everyone's Shit connection got like... also got better, meaning a three-shot kill sometimes even turned into two. Shit Next, so Call of Duty brought us back to World War II and appropriately named the game COD World War II. This game was best known at launch for an outrageous amount of. This game was okay. It got a lot of hate, but it was fun. I had a fun time. A with Dragon's it. Breath shotgun spam. I asked. It was annoying. Divisions update set things straight. The game would give everyone with the Expeditionary Division a free fire shotgun if they chose That's to use insane. it. And they definitely chose it. A lot. And while the fire didn't actually did. add as much to the gun's damage as you might think, just, just the sparkles, visual bro. clutter it create was enough to send controllers through some TV screens. Black Ops 4 had some of the worst. Now this game, this game by far was this is how the block up series is so good, bro. This is Monetization practices in Call of Duty. And unfortunately, the most broken weapon in the game was locked behind its monetization model in weapon reserves. The Stingray, which thankfully you can now purchase with a weapon bribe, was almost inaccessible to most of the player base during the game's life cycle. Which means that unless you were grinding this game day and night, and also were willing to shell out a bit of cash on it, you probably didn't even have a chance to compete. The Stingray is a two round burst projectile weapon, which means you need to lead your shots a little bit. A mechanic that the devs figured would be enough of a drawback to make the rest of its stats know. OP. That means that if you played with the weapon enough to master the projectile timing, or just had a bad connection so you're used to leading every shot, nobody would even stand a chance in 2019 cod rebooted the modern warfare franchise yeah this and this dumb. is where we started to see a lot of the core at least we got warzone you know what i'm saying at least we got warzone what this. makes modern call of duty <laughs> oh, shit. modern call of duty up. like the gunsmith seasonal yeah, shit, dlc annoying, weapons bro. and constant balancing updates but hidden in all that infinity war dropped what might be the most op gun of this era yeah, the five? as Val. Oh yeah, that's what it's broken. Coming with an integrated suppressor, this thing could shoot through walls. And because it was part of the final major update of the game, that meant that devs really didn't care much to rebalance it after the facts because the community was uh, about I was playing Apex by the yeah, I was like the Bowman. I didn't play that matter. To move on. And the community did move on to Black Ops Cold War, where the so tech nine good. would just dominate. Hell yeah. That's what it was godlike. This will shock you, but the Tech 9 was actually a DLC gun. Yeah. I know, right? Can you believe it? COD putting yep. the best guns as a DLC to make you grind or pay for it? No way. That doesn't sound like them. That's like that an SMG so good, bro. that leaned closer to machine pistol than most. The Tech 9 would constantly three shot so good people for across the map, all with almost no recoil either. And it serves as another weapon that released too late. And the devs just never got a chance to go back and fix it. For Vanguard, I've got to go with the Automaton. That's just, bro. I didn't like this game at all, bro. Waste of fucking money, bro. First in COD World War II, the Automaton thankfully was a default weapon on launch. Which means you didn't need to get lucky with a supply drop or get it in a battle pass like years prior. Not only was the Automaton great in pubs, but it was so good... The pros were using it all over the competitive scene. Shout yep. out Boston Breach. We're also going to do a quick honorable mention to Warzone 1 as a whole. With three entire years of changing metas, mm -hmm. it's tough. 
The SSAR. That one flew the DMR in the SSAR at the same time was insane. I mean, what else can I even say? I think this gameplay is speaking for itself. What is oh my on, god. All the same classics of the previous weapons on the list. Low recoil. But honestly, this was a good ass meta. This was a fun meta. I like fun meta for a little bit but they got it got dragged out for three months tons of ammo and the ability to three tap people from hundreds of meters away but now in warzone where each death means so much more than regular old multiplayer this led to some of the most frustrating lobbies in the game's tenure this Bro, was also during the peak of warzone cheaters and let me tell you the dmr plus hackers not a very fun experience at all Next we're coming up on Modern Warfare 22, and this we're gonna go with the Vaznet. That shit, that shit got like. That shit was got like. It was a good Are gun. Are sure though. there's even other SMGs in the game? Because I can't remember them. And with MW2's gunsmith and weapon tuning letting you change every little thing about the gun, there's no that shortage of weapon so builds fun. and meta videos out there showing you every single sweat. Exactly I the knobs to turn game, to make this thing as OP last year again. as possible. That but wait, a high rate of fire submachine gun on the AK platform? Hmm, sounds familiar. And lastly, for now, Modern Warfare 3. Now this game is still only in its third season at the time of making this video, so there may be something. What is a broken gun here? I don't really know. I really know. Oh, no. They come out later to blow this thing out of the water. But right now, the thing plaguing MW3 lobbies, of course, the is the longbow. the longbow. Did you know that this thing is supposed to be a sniper? Because you can take this thing on shipment and still drop 50 kills with it, no problem. Sure. I mean, this thing comes with a 40 round Damn. magazine. Did they really expect us to not run around with it? Now, it did recently get nerfed a bit, but as with a lot of guns on this list, it just went unchecked for far, far too long. Four. I'm so tired, chat, bro. I drank a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Drank so much. All right, we got we gotta call it LG on this one, right? LG on this one. Hundred million. We got. Ah oh, man, That's this is the new face clan, bro. I'm. I got a lot of expectations here, right? What's going on, man? Y'all see this big old LA crew we got? Uh -huh. I'm talking about multi, multi million. I'm talking about yeah. 50, 100 million. We got this crib. Why we got this crib, man? We got this mother crib because today we about to 